Greetings and welcome back to Banished. So yeah, the old people are starting to die, but uh, we're getting new people, so uh, out with the old and in with the new, I guess. So, um, yeah, I did build some houses, I forgot where. Oh yeah, we built one down here. That's good. Oh yeah, this is exactly where we had the new child, surprisingly, since this woman is sort of getting old-ish. <laughs> that's good. We didn't have any luck down here. No, well. Oh yeah, and one other thing is that uh, the amount of stored fuel obviously is not just the firewood. That's something that I uh, missed about last time. So uh, we got a whole bunch of fuel, furnace fuel, that probably counts, and coal. And do we have anything else? No, I think that's it. Although I'm not sure if the stuff in the sensor market does count. Uh, let's take a quick look actually. So we got 12 firewood. Well, that's not much. We got none down here. Let's take a look at these ones. 20 firewood. Uh, 84 firewood. No firewood. And nothing down here. So I do think that it does count. Oh yeah, we got a lot of firewood down here. So, but we certainly don't have 5,000 firewood. Uh, 500 firewood, sorry. Okay, well, let's um, up the fuel limit. Wait, this is materials. Wait, so furnace fuel counts as materials. Well, my bad. Let's up the fuel limit then. Uh, let's set it to 1000, that's totally fine, and let's add a bunch more into our uh, trading post. Speaking of trading post, uh, this one is getting there. And of course, last time I managed to get a bunch of pigs and I was going to build a pasture around here since this won't take away any trees from the forester's lodge. Well, neither this one or this one. So, let's go and take a look. Uh, we're gonna go with the standard pasture, since that seems the easiest. Not sure why anyone would build a fences pasture. <laughs> Unless... No, I, I just don't know. Slow conforming pasture. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's uh, go with the standard one. It's not like we have a lot of hills here, so... It'll be rather easy, and we'll build it... How big do I need to make it? What's the maximum size? Apparently you can build it very big. Looks like limit is uh, 30, so I will assume 30 by 30, but that's uh, a little bit too much. I'm not even gonna be a very uh, farm-like town. We'll mostly survive on uh, fishing and anything that has to do with water. So, uh, did my 14? Yeah, let's just do it. And we'll figure it out eventually if that is enough. And now we just wait until my builders chop down all the trees. There's a lot of trees here. So that'll bring us a whole bunch of logs and I guess I'm also going to be needing a whole butcher area. I think eventually if this uh, Forester's Lodge is gone, uh, this will mostly become a place for animals, farm animals and uh, butcher shops and all that sort of stuff, so that'll be interesting. But uh, it's still going to be a while before we get there. Let's just wait until they do this. I don't want to build too much at once. I'm already building enough. This trading post that almost has enough iron. Our amount of tools is going down though, which probably is because I don't have a large smithy. Well, I do have a large smithy, I just don't have a smith. I got rid of that person a while ago to use as a laborer, but yeah, my uh, tools are getting used a lot now. You know what? I'm gonna switch over to. Uh, use the coal because it's the only thing that I can use it for. Let's 
sort of unfortunate that there isn't a delegated stockpile for coal. It's uh, only fuel, so... And we got more dead people. Well, one dead person. Uh, looks like the teacher died. So, we do have market buildings, but uh, it's the same as the other one. It's also just for fuel. No, not even fuel. Just uh, iron, stone, and logs. So where does the fuel come from? We're gonna have something that distributes fuel. Materials, perhaps? I don't know. It's uh, sort of odd. Okay. And we're gonna need a meat locker around here. So that'll be next to the butcher shop, which is around here, I guess. No, wait, food. And butcher stalls. Transparent fields. Okay, I don't need that. A butcher shop, so we'll be having a big butcher. We'll figure it out eventually. I also first want to see how many pigs I can actually have on this field. Well, luckily I have uh, six to start off with, so they should reproduce fairly quickly, I hope. And... Okay, we're almost there. Now we have started production of steel tools, so uh, productivity should go up once again. And in the meantime also my people are getting educated, so perhaps the uh, death of all my old people won't be that drastic because all the new people coming in will be a lot more productive and let's take a look here and that's pretty good and all right oh yeah and we also of course have the parish house that i still have to build um well i'm gonna wait until they finish the trading posts which should be soon if one of these guys manages to acquire two iron that would be nice and the ropery is actually doing something we should have rope but <laughs> it's difficult now to find whatever the hell all this rope goes to because it's getting spread out among all the markets and okay, 11 rope that's a lot this person must have been busy maybe it's actually working this time instead of waiting and doing nothing also it could simply be because i had a lot of reeds so yeah oh yeah and this person is still digging clay it's been going on for ages I must have a ton of clay now oh yeah there we go that's a lot of clay let's switch you over to uh, sand and once again it's winter time and it looks like my Food supply dropped slightly. Last winter it was around 3,000. Now it's uh, just under 3,000. So I think it's uh, fairly decent. And eventually we will be getting a bunch of extra food from this, uh, from the whole big butchery thing. And if need be, I can always put in an extra gatherer. So that's all good. Or I could put in an extra fisher. What are you doing anyway? Uh, about the 350 fish per year i think that's good so we still have the room for expansion and they're finally building the trading post excellent so i'm gonna unpause this one then i can start gathering things to uh, build the parish house all right so far so good this also means that i should be getting uh, twice the amount of traders that i'm getting now which will be good because i do want to get some seeds as well even though uh, this won't be a farming community, I still will be placing a few farms here and there for uh, important things like... Yeah, like what? I don't know. <laughs> There's so many seeds. I uh, forgot which ones are the most important ones, but uh, we'll figure that out eventually. So, okay. Now someone just has to go build this. It should be fairly simple. Just a bunch of fences. Oh no, wait, we're still waiting for logs. There we go. I'm also gonna need a house around here for this uh, farm person. 
Maybe I should build a big house, you know? Because farmhouses are supposed to be big. You gotta have all sorts of machinery. At, well, maybe not machinery, but... Farmhouses usually are big, right? So, maybe a large residence, but I got no glass. That looks too fancy for a farmhouse. <laughs> Uh, town lodging. Oh yeah, this is uh, the same as boarding house, just nicer. Uh, so which one was it? We have stone house, country house. Is this bigger? No, that's also 4x4. Four four. I think this is the next upgrade after stone house, although I'm not entirely sure. We also have the town abode, which is smaller, and yeah, the large residence. So there are four sizes of uh, houses. Starts over the tiny shack, which is a uh, 3 by 2 then we have the town abode which is 3 by 4 then we have the standard house which is 4 by 4 and then we this one is also 4 by 4 and then we have the country house which is no wait that's also 4 by 4 large residence which is a lot by a lot <laughs> But it does seem like uh, you can put a whole bunch of roads next to it, so... I'm not sure how that works out. But it would sort of fit around here. And how many families? A family of six. Well, I don't know. No, let's just stick with a wooden house for now. Where do we build a stone house? No, we don't have enough stone. Let's stick with a wooden house. I'm gonna build it... Where am I going to build it? Let's build it... Next to this house, like this, and I'm going to be building a road this way. And we can put a whole bunch of butcher things around there. We'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that gives my builders a lot to do. You only have three of them. And I gotta make sure that uh, the people that die do get replaced. So far it's going good, but we have no laborers left, so next person to die won't get replaced. I probably will be getting rid of one person in the quarry to go work someplace else. It does look like the amount of tools is going down drastically. But they are gonna get uh, replaced by steel tools, so I hope this person can make them fast enough. I'm not sure how much I need for each tool. And I don't even know how much coal I have because it's all spread out. We got two more coal here. Uh, we got probably no coal here. And it looks like the bank is getting filled up, that's good. Speaking of bank, we have plenty of firewood now. That's... Uh, oh, no, I'm gonna wait. Once this is built, I'm gonna be stockpiling a bunch of firewood in the second trading post. So... Yeah, I was checking out... Well, I totally, totally forgot what I was doing. So, yeah, I was checking out uh, where I can find some laborers, I guess. Uh, yeah, there we go. So the vendor died. That's not good. Uh, the vendor from back here. So uh, easy thing to do is, I guess, to get rid of this person. And put him back here. I hope this did the right thing. Uh, yes, there we go. Vendor. So this person that used to work here and now is working there. That worked out nicely. And yeah, my food is going down slightly, which is bad, but I got people dying, so the amount of mouths to feed will go down. Perhaps I'm gonna make it, I don't know. I'm also gonna have a part-time job here, someone working in two trading posts, because you don't really have much to do. The only thing you need these traders for is to gather goods and put them in the trading post. You can even trade without having anyone there, so that's good. That also means that I probably could get rid of this person in the long run. Well, not the long run. In the uh, 
run that we'll have it, uh, we'll be having when all the people start dying, which is uh, about now. <laughs> oh yeah, we got this thing as well. Totally forgot about this. This must have been here for about uh, five episodes or something. <laughs> I just don't need it. I don't know why I would build it. A stacks burner. The only thing that I can think of is that the fuel that they make is more efficient. No, still not built. We only have three builders, so that's not ideal. And this thing still needs to be built. And oh, well, let's pause the parish house for now. I don't really need it yet. And I'm going to speed up everything. I hope that soon enough I can continue the play at speed too, but for now the town is still fairly small. So not a lot happening at once. That they should go build this, I hope. Alright, there we go. So, let's get rid of this guy. And put him in here. And let's gather a bunch of firewood for this place. I guess we'll start off with about 500. Seems reasonable. Now they should be going this way. I think it's the only thing that is still being built. Oh no, we are building something else. Oh yeah, this house. <laughs> totally forgot about it. And something else that I forgot to build yet is a, a well to put out fires, although have to say, if it keeps on raining like this, <laughs> all the fires should be put out by themselves, but I don't think it works that way. Okay, so this was all done. Uh, let's drop back to two speed and let's unpause the parish house so that the pillars have something to build. Uh, let's put a bunch of pigs in here. And, oh, well, looks like the limit is eight. That's not a lot. It'll have to do. And we'll need one person in here. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. I guess I gotta wait until the pigs arrive, maybe? Oh no, wait, I just don't have any laborers. Oh, my bad. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm gonna be... I'm expanding a bit too much perhaps because we'll have uh, one person working here, I'm gonna need a butcher to turn the pigs into meat and that's gonna require another laborer. How many people do we have that will come of age? Unfortunately it never says how old the students are. Uh, we do have a few houses that will be empty soon. Oh, well, wait a minute. I think we used to have a one person living here, apparently these two moved in and made a child. That's just excellent. Uh, these two will be dying soon. Uh, this guy as well. <laughs> Another teacher will die. Yeah, old people. Uh, this place should be a little younger. And the uh, mining village should be even younger. Well, it doesn't... Oh, yeah. They're under 50s, it's fine. So... Have the pigs arrived yet? Well, still got one pig down here. And we got a bunch of pigs... running through the town. <laughs> but why is this one left? I don't know. Uh, does it even say in my... I don't know. 
it doesn't show any inventory. Which is unfortunate. Also, I don't know how many animals you can store in here. If they will only allow one type of animal, which sort of would make sense, or if they will allow multiple. So what else is happening? Yes, we're still building the parish house. We only got two builders at the moment, but that should be enough. Uh, the limiting factor now is iron. And my amount of tools is going up slightly, which is good. And once I have enough stone, I can upgrade this. Oh, I really got a lot of firewood now. Uh, let's up this limit once again. Oh, he's uh, still gathering it, but that's fine. That'll give him something to do. Let's get rid of this guy. Mm, looks like we're at the limit for sand. I'm gonna up the limit for materials. Most of the materials are being dumped into this stockpile anyway, so that's not an issue. They shouldn't be brought into the storage barn, which is actually very empty. You know what? Looks like it's the ideal moment to upgrade it. There should be room to put the rest, I hope. We'll just wait and see. It's empty as it is, so it shouldn't be an issue. And I guess the storage barn isn't that bad. Back here, it can act as some sort of buffer for the market, even though you can put a lot in the market. But, okay, good. It was empty, it's being demolished. And I actually forgot to check what I need to build this. I was just sort of impulsive here, but... Yeah, well, it'll be good. <laughs> I think a bunch of stone and... Yeah, we'll, we'll see it soon enough. It's not... It's not that bad. Okay. Yeah, food is hovering at around 3,000. I'm gonna... I'm gonna place the butcher stall down here as well. I'm not gonna assign anyone to butcher anything yet, but it's actually very cheap. And it's a 4x4, four four, so it'll nicely fit down here. Well, it's actually 3x3, three three if you don't count the frontage, but... Yeah, let's just build it like this. Oh, well, wrong button. Um, and I need a, a meat locker to put all the meat. If I can find it. Okay, should be... Uh, oh, here we go. Meat locker. Oh, it also includes nuts and fish. Well, that's fine. Uh, it's also 4x4, four four, so it nicely fits around here. Sort of made me wish that I made this... A pasture a little bigger so that it would nicely all fit together but I guess it'll have to suffice okay so we got a few more building product projects going and more people died how's the uh, graveyard doing six people oh yeah looks like a lot of people died we're suddenly down to 28 so uh, who's missing a uh, hunter died Shoreman died, but he got replaced apparently, so someone did come of age, and someone else did come of age as well, so I'm gonna place you back in the hunter cabin perhaps, or, no, no, it's in the duck pond, no, wait, not the duck pond, hunting blind, not sure why I call it a duck pond, oh, and we got a trader, uh, let's uh, put someone else in there as well, it does supply me with uh, quite a bit of ducks each year, it's uh, actually almost the same as the amount of fish we get. Now we get more fish, okay. And we got another trader. Let's take a look. Coffee. Alright, we'll take it. It's pretty expensive actually. But 
that's okay. We need about... Is this? 440? No, wait, that's too much. 404. No. No. I can't do math. <laughs> How pathetic. Uh, okay, I need 20 more, so that's 5. 450. That's good. And uh, let's get rid of you. I know you don't have anything that I need. And as you can see, I can trade without needing a, a trader in here. This one's almost fully stocked, that's good. And... This person die? Should have someone in here. Did the... No, the herdsman died. Well, that was a very... Uh, Interesting career. <laughs> All the herdsmen did was uh, put a bunch of pigs in the pasture and then decided to die. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna need uh, someone to take the job. It also almost looks like the blacksmith has a full time job. Maybe steel tools take longer to make. It would make sense. Who can we get to take the job? Someone that's not... Maybe one of the foresters. We got four here. And we have... Three here. So I'm gonna get rid of one. And that gives us someone to put in... The pasture. Okay. Alright. Anyway, I'm gonna be uh, ending the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. And see you next time.